It doesn't take a genius for one to see that history often glosses over the contribution of women, especially when it comes to traditionally male-oriented subjects such as military and warfare. But contrary to those misconceptions, there are thousands of women throughout history who have participated in and played crucial roles in conflict, all with different stories in politics. During the Mexican Revolution, female soldiers, called soldaderas, participated in the conflict to help achieve the goals of the revolution. These soldaderas started as women dislocated by the war and made to take care of men by cooking and cleaning for them. But once skirmishes started, they too decided that they wanted to kick some ass and taste the blood of their oppressors. The Mexican Revolution was a struggle that radically transformed Mexican politics and society from 1910 to 1920. After a coup in 1876 against the French, Porfirio Diaz seized power and reigned Mexico for 35 years. His policies involved civil repression and political stagnation, and his economics only helped the rich. The revolution was sparked by Francisco Madero, who won a popular election for president in 1911, but was denied the position by conservatives in the government. Over time, the revolution became multifaceted, with different groups in different regions starting to battle each other. And this is where the unacknowledged strength of women lies. One prominent female soldier during the revolution was Petra Herrera, who led skillfully on the battlefield under the name Pedro. This disguising was not uncommon among female soldiers because it made them eligible for battlefield promotions. Once she became well respected as the result of her leadership and marksmanship, she put her hair up in braids and unveiled her true female identity. By the year 1914, she was captain under Pancho Villa, one of the most prominent male figures of the revolution, and led 200 men into battle while blowing up bridges. Her biggest achievement involved sacking the city of Torreon, the biggest fight in the revolution to that date, which gave the rebels countless resources. However, Herrera was not given much credit and did not receive the promotion she should have. As a result, Herrera decided to call it quits with Pancho and instead created her own independent all-female brigade. At their peak, Herrera's soldaderas numbered at around 300 to 400 women, and together they sought to show the world what a true woman's power can be. Petra took great care of her soldiers and wouldn't let men sleep in her camp, a rule enforced by Petra's use of any trespassing male soldiers as target practice. At the end of the fighting, Petra was only promoted to a colonel, and her brigade was unfortunately disbanded. Petra herself was assigned to be a spy for the Carancistas, a northern revolutionary army, and on duty under the disguise of a bartender, she was shot several times by a group of drunken men and died due to injuries. Through the story of Petra Herrera, I hope you can begin to see that males are certainly not the only ones responsible for our histories. The legacy of Las Soldaderas is captured in the popularized ballad titled La Adelita. But even in this song, women are depicted as a bit too soft and sweet, focusing on their beauty rather than their strength. But when one does the research themselves, they can see that La Adelita is really a symbol of motivation and hope, a woman who struggles for her rights. This image evokes the essence of female strength, which empowers the modern soldaderas today that continue to challenge stereotypes and change society.